Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer. I am Mark Bays. We are at Euclid Hall, one of the best beer bars in downtown Denver. Uh, I almost didn't film this video just because it's been so long, but Euclid Hall in January is going to be re-releasing re a lot of the products that they bought for Great American Beer Fest, discounting a bunch of different stuff, showing off what we got here. Um, and well, this beer, Dr. Chez Pumpkin, it's going to be there. This is a 7% brown ale uh, done in a pumpkin manner. So it's brewed with real pumpkins, brown sugar, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg. Should be real fun. Came out uh, uh, in Denver, I don't know, about a month and a half ago, let's say. Um, 12 ounce bottles that came in four packs, but a lot of places split it up and sold bottles individually. Uh, so with that being said, I thought I'd go ahead and crack it open. We'll see what it pours like and tastes. Thanksgiving's coming up right around the corner. It's gonna be really good for that. And uh, not to mention, you know, give a shout out because you should be coming into Euclid Hall in January. If you didn't have the opportunity to experience Great American Beer Fest um, in terms of the bars in downtown, come into Euclid Hall, we're gonna give it to you. So with that being said, without further ado, let's crack it open. All right, so we got the beer poured, as you can see right off the bat. Um, it's just a really soft orangish brown color. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of a soft muted brown with very nice orange highlights coming off of it. Not a ton, a ton of head, but sitting on top. Looks like it's fading pretty quickly. Moderate size bubbles. This looks like it's gonna be a really fun beer to test out. Let's give it a go. All right, guys, so we got Dr. Shed's pumpkin pour. Let's give it a good swirl, get some air in there. Really release that aromatic nose, shall we? Right off the bat, you're getting soft pumpkin, but tons of that allspice mixed with the cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. Almost has a malty quill uh, feel to it. It doesn't feel too thin. And yes, you can smell a beer and be able to tell if it, if it should be thick or thin. You can get that maltiness to it. Yeah, so this smells like it's gonna be definitely a full-bodied ale, which is exactly what it's saying here, full-bodied full brown. And picking up all those spices that they're brewing with it. So it's really interesting. Um, I'm liking it. They put it in, in the after, uh, right after the boil, essentially in the latter part of it. That's where you're gonna get all those aromatic uh, flavors coming off of it. Let's give it a taste, shall we? good beer. I'm typically not a brown fan whatsoever, um, unless it's going to be sour like a Oud Bruin, but I like this a lot, uh, probably because of everything that's going into it in terms of um, the festive fall seasoning. So first sip, definitely malty, but not too, too thick and malty. Um, it it's, feels just about perfect, to be honest with you. definitely getting the malts used when you make brown ales. Um, I'm, I'm getting like a barley-esque feel to it. Uh, there's a touch of those spices. It's really more dominant on the nose than it really is in the palate. This is really reminding me of drinking a, a, a brown beer, to be honest with you. Yeah, you're getting way more of those, um, the cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and the pumpkin. You're getting way more of that on the nose. But when you drink it, you're getting more of a brown ale feel. It's full bodied. I mean, it's a 7%. The alcohol is definitely well hidden. Uh, not very sessionable, to say the least, but an awesome beer. Um, wouldn't suggest sharing it. This should be more than enough for just one person. Um, it's not too crazy. You are picking up subtle, subtle hints of pumpkin on the sides of the palate really does coat the palate extremely well. But all those aromatic qualities of, of the allspice, the cinnamon nutmeg, all the spices are all in the nose. The body itself is just a full-bodied brown with just slight smoothness of pumpkin on the sides. So you know you're drinking a pumpkin ale, but you're not getting it because you love pumpkin. You're getting it because you like a brown ale or you're a fan of dogfish, which is a good thing. Uh, this only comes out, you know, it's a seasonal release. It comes out uh, the start of October, so about a month ago, a month and a half. Um, it's pretty awesome. I gotta say, I like it a lot. Um, I've had it on draft. This is my first experience having it in a bottle form. I like them both. 
So you get a little swirl, the head comes right back up, which is nice. Most bars that are gonna pour this are gonna pour it in a pub glass instead of a tulip. I'm using the tulip so I can really get the, that nose coming off of it. You know, as for food pairings, obviously Thanksgiving, fall, it's where you wanna go. Squash would go really good with this, so would green beans and um, I think brown rice would be really interesting too. Uh, mashed potatoes, turkey, uh, preferably I would say with this beer more on the dark side of the meat than the light. Uh, dark side is gonna be a little more juicy, a little more gamey feel to it, which I think will go extremely well with this, but the light's just gonna taste, you know, meaty, which is not a bad thing. Uh, but I think it'll pair up better with dark meat for sure. Um, I mean, this is an all around easy beer to pair stuff up with because you're getting such a great nose on it that it's, it's gonna entice your, your palate and really invigorate you with what you're gonna eat. But at the same time, it's robust enough to handle most foods. It's not overbearing in flavor, so it's gonna pair up really, really nice. Just really good resonancy between, um, between what you're gonna get on food and what you're gonna get in the beer. It's, it's perfect. Solid beer, really good brown ale to say the least. Love the nose. I love the fact that when you drink it, you're getting something different than what you're just smelling. It's not just one and the same and one big, big picture of it. It's nice. Um, so yeah, Dogfish Head Pumpkin, definitely check it out. If you already have some, obviously now is the time to start drinking it, especially enough for Thanksgiving. Bring a four pack for the holidays. It'll be a good time. So thank you for joining me. Mark Bays, not your dad's beer. See you guys next time. Cheers. Dogfish Head's Pumpkin, beautiful ale for the fall holiday festive season. I gotta tell you guys, this, yeah, it's not your dad's beer.